This NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost, and Canadians are suffering through his inflation and high interest rates. For many families, the best hope for a summer vacation will, will be a modest road trip. Parents will sketch out a budget based on meals and hotels, and a big expense will be fuel. The GST, excise tax, and carbon tax have helped push fuel prices to near record levels, with many families unable to afford a vacation at all. Conservatives have proposed taking the tax off of gas and diesel for the summer, saving Canadians 35 cents a litre. Will the Prime Minister vote for our motion or will he force more Canadians to stay home this summer? Mr. Speaker, this is a prime cut of Conservative baloney. And I know what I'm talking about. My dad was a butcher, Mr. Speaker. The savings that the Conservative Party of Canada claims for Albertans is based on people travelling 37 thousand kilometers during their holidays, Mr. Speaker. 37,000 kilometers. You can go from the North Pole to the South Pole and you would have kilometers left to achieve the savings that they claim, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> That's just not true, Mr. Speaker. And everybody knows that the carbon tax costs more than the rebate. That is why the Prime Minister was humiliated into granting a carve-out for just some people in some parts of the country. And that's all we're asking for today, a carve-out on federal taxes on fuel and diesel for the summer. For the average family in Ontario, that would mean almost $600 in savings. Now, to the Prime Minister and his wealthy friends, that might not seem like a lot of money. But to struggling Canadians, that could make the difference to be able to say yes to the kids when they ask for some summertime fun. So will the Prime Minister have an ounce of compassion and help more Canadian families afford a vacation? I know math is not the forte of the Conservative Party of Canada. Let me walk them through it. By, by their math, the Albertans will have, would have to use 3,293 litres of gasoline over a three-month period, Mr. Mr. Speaker. At an average of 8.9 litres per 100 kilometres, that equivalent to 37,000 kilometers. You would have to drive for 10 consecutive days, non-stop, Mr. Speaker. If you had two weeks vacation, you would have two days left, or maybe three, to enjoy your vacation. <laughs> math is the forte of someone who brags that he doesn't think about monetary policy and thinks that budgets balance themselves, Mr. Speaker. Maybe the reason why the Prime Minister is being so cruel about this issue is because he's long forgotten the thrill of the, of the family road trip. You see, he has wealthy lobbyists who invite him to their private islands where he doesn't have to pay for the villas and he gets to stick taxpayers with the bill. But Canadian workers have to pay for all the inflation, all the interest rates and all the tax hikes themselves. So will he have an ounce of compassion, take fuel taxes off for the summer so Canadians can have a road trip this year? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The calculations and economies put forward by the Conservative Party is completely ridiculous. An Albertan family, for example, would have to drive 37,000 kilometres during their vacation. So you can leave from Montreal and go to Mexico City and come back to Montreal, go back to Mexico City, come back to Montreal, go back to Mexico City, and come back to Montreal, go back to Mexico City. And you still have kilometers to spare. Liberal Matt says jacking up the carbon tax 23% is going to somehow magically fix forest fires and reduce the cost of groceries like that that Edith can't afford. And they think we're gullible and incompetent like the NDP that would blindly support policies that made 2 million Canadians go into a food bank in a single month and that made 1 in 4 Canadians skip meals. Why don't they do everyone a favor? Give Canadians a break and put them out and finally end their misery. Call a carbon tax election so common sense conservatives can scrap the carbon, the carbon tax scam and Canadians can kick this costly co carbon tax coalition to the curb. Good news, kids. You can take a summer fun time vacation where you're locked in a car for 10 consecutive days, nonstop with no bathroom breaks, and the Conservatives have a plan for you to have that summertime fun. And the cost? Give up the future of the planet. Right? Don't worry, kids, about climate change. Don't worry about taking action on the planet. Enjoy your 10 hours in the car and 